And when is it that society decided that instead of a standard valve, a fuel shutoff valve, that we needed to do the vacuum operated petcock? Because I believe this is one of the, it, it, I shouldn't say one of the dumbest solutions ever, because in theory it's great, but they fail constantly on everything. That one I got to deal with, the bandit flooded an engine that could break a conrod if you tried to start it and you didn't know it was like that. This one was leaking. I think I reassembled it. I just, I think it must've happened in the early eighties, like 81, 82, because that bike has one, that was in 84. I haven't encountered it on any bikes that I've seen from the seventies. So at some point in the eighties, they must've decided early eighties that people were too stupid to use the petcock to shut off the fuel valve when they stopped and weren't running the bike. And because their float valves may be sticking, they may end up flooding their engine. So we should, create this elaborate system that uses vacuum to pull fuel only when the bike is running. And it makes a lot of sense. I really do like, I appreciate where they're coming from, but they don't fucking work. Not, not for long. I mean, they work for a little while, but then they stop working. And then it's a goddamn thing that you got to deal with. I don't, I don't like them. I don't want to deal with that one. I'm going to delete it on that one. At least that one on the interceptor has a true off. This one has a true off. Suzuki decided we don't even need an off because the vacuum operated petcocks are gonna work so damn good that we don't even need an off. We just got prime on and reserve. Honda had a little bit more foresight in whenever they designed this one in 1980, well, probably 82, 83. I just wish I was born in 88. So I wasn't there when we made this decision that we needed to move to vacuum operated petcocks because I think I could have raised some good points as to why we shouldn't have.